Hey, 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 it's Rod Bergeron here with you once again. And uh, today we're gonna continue our series on pen and ink. And this is my quill pen. Hopefully I can zoom in on that so you can see it. And um, if you remember, it splits. Okay, I hope I can zoom in on that so you can see how that splits. That split allows more ink or less ink to come out. So if you're not pressing down very hard, it's just one little tiny bit coming out. And if you press down fairly hard, it splits open and allows more ink to flow out. So having said that, um, this is my ink that I'm currently working with. And this is uh, Bombay Black India ink. It's by a company called Dr. P.H. Martins. And they've been around for quite a while. Anyways, it's a, I use it all the time. Pretty good brand of ink. But I also use other brands of ink like Windsor Newton. Um, lots of times here you'll see that I'm holding on to my bottle. Uh, but most of the time it's set off to the side away from my work. But uh, the reason why that split is important is because you can allow a whole bunch of ink to come out in one quick motion. So maybe I'll do this over here, but you'll see um, I, can allow, I can allow all the ink. Where can I do this? Maybe up here. I can allow all the ink to come out at one time, or almost all the ink to come out, and I, I make a fairly big dot. The problem is, is that you could touch that and, you know, make a colossal mess out of your work. But what I wanted to show you today was stippling. And stippling is just si simply dots, okay? That's all it is. Stippling is just dots. So if I do this over here, make sure I'm on camera. I am. So I do this over here, and you'll see I can just do little dots. Well, the great thing about stippling is that you can actually draw a line with dots, right? So I'm not pressing hard enough to open up those splits on my pen. And you'll see I'm kind of making a line. Now, that was just with one dip of the pen. So if I wanted to, I could put those dots quite a bit closer together. Now you're probably not gonna go as far if you do that, but you'll see it looks much more like a line. And when you practice this after a while, you'll be able to go sort of that fast. Now with a, a quill pen, that's pretty fast, but with a, like with a normal dip quill pen, that's pretty fast. But if you have just a regular, you know, Sharpie that you're working with, you can do that even faster because you don't have to go back and refill all the time. So stippling allows you to do a couple of things. Draw a broken line like that. Draw a much more jaggedy sort of broken line like that, right? It also allows you to fill in areas. So you could dip your pen in and say, I want a different texture on this patch of trees. So you can kind of go in there and do you know, do that, where you can fill in an area with stippling. Also, if you want to make a road look like a gravel kind of a road, uh, stippling is a great effect for doing that. You know, so you can go in here and say, okay, I want this to be my, my road or my pathway, and you want to vary it so you don't want to have a, you know, you don't want to have all big dots or all small dots. So that's just a change in the pressure on your pen. You can see how you can do that. You know, it's fairly quick. Once you get onto just the rhythm of it, and you see I haven't gone back, I haven't re-dipped my pen, but because my dots are so small, I'm able to continue laying down ink. And I usually do until I'm my pen is empty but you'll you'll get a feel for after a while now this container is almost it's about less than half full so when I dip my pen it doesn't come all the way up to the top 
you don't want to fill it. You don't want to fill it all the way up to here. That's when you start to make, um, you can make some colossal errors on your, on your work because one little spill leads to this big, huge puddle. So give stippling a try. Don't rush it at first. You know, if at first, if you have to do, you know, dots like that, but get out a practice sheet of paper. It doesn't have, everything doesn't have to be a masterpiece. Sometimes we can just get out a piece of paper and just practice and have some fun with it. Okay, so it doesn't have to be this constant, I'm trying to create a masterpiece idea. Art doesn't have to be about that. Art can just be about, I'm trying to have some fun. I'm trying to learn how to do something. I'm trying to make something with my hands. I'd love to hear from you. If you have a question or a comment, please leave it in the comment section. If you're currently a subscriber, thank you very much. And if you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give Stippling a try. I'd love to hear from you and find out how yours turn out.